everybody, Chris here, and in this XSplit Broadcaster video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up hotkeys. So in order to do this, we need to go up to the Tools menu, General Settings, and then switch over to the Hotkeys tab, which should be the third one over. Here we have a good chunk of different hotkeys that we can set up, including switching to scenes, toggling our mic and speaker on, Enabling a push to talk screen uh, is key, which if you've never used push to talk on something like Ventrilo, it's where you need to hold down a key in order to top. And other hotkeys like starting and stopping a local recording, pretty useful if you don't like uh, having to use this interface every time you want to start and stop. And starting your stream to different channels that you may have already set up. Now, in order to actually set up the hotkeys, you need to double click where it says none over here to the right of the hotkey name. And then once you have it selected, you hit the key combination at the same time you want on your keyboard. So for instance, if you wanted to switch to scene one to be control one, you would hit control one. Very simple, right? Alternatively, you could do something like shift two or alt three. Now, as an alternative to setting the hotkeys by hitting the hotkeys, you can also select one of the hotkeys and simply go down here where it says type your hotkey or choose hotkey manually. And you can do something like click on the shift box to make it a shift hotkey and then select from any of the possible keys on your keyboard. For instance, let's go with U. So shift U will mean switch to scene five. Then when you're done and you're satisfied with your hotkeys, go ahead and hit apply at the bottom. So in order to test that our hotkeys do in fact work, I'm going to hit alt 2 to switch from scene 1 to scene 3. There's not currently on scene 3, which we can see just by hovering over that scene in the bottom right hand corner. Um, but it should do a fade transition to that. So let's go ahead and hit alt 2. And we can see that over 700 milliseconds, it fades between scene 1 and scene 3. So there you go, that's how you set up hotkeys inside of XSplit Broadcaster. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this piece of content.